I'm Terry with Towers Murray Plumbing in Murray, Utah. Today we're going to show you how and when to replace the tank to bowl kit. Um, different things that you can, to, uh, different ways to find out if you need to replace your tank to bowl kit. If you get any water leaking between the tank and the bowl, it's the biggest indication. A lot of times people think their wax is leaking. It's actually the tank to bowl kit gasket in between tank and bowl uh, deteriorates, breaks down starts to leak. It can also be a gasket on one of your bolts that's causing that leak. When you remove one bolt, you need to remove the second one. Replace both gaskets and the tank to bowl gasket all at the same time. For this video we've already shown, I've already removed the uh, lock nuts. The nuts are underneath the tank, one on each side. Some toilets may have a third lock nut. Remove the lock nuts Remove the tank, find a safe position to lay it down, remove old gasket, remove the two bolts. Now you're ready to reinstall your tank to bowl kit. Gasket has a recessed side, slips over the nut. You have a bolt that goes two bolts, sometimes three. Put your bolts back down through the hole, new bolts with the new gaskets. Tank's now ready to go back into place. Carefully set it in place. Take your lock nut. Now when you're installing the nut and washers to put the tank back on, you want to make sure that your tank, your nuts are tightened evenly. Repeat the to both sides so you tank until your tank has no more wobble in it. Now we've just showed you how to install a tank to bowl kit. Remember, first tur turn the water off, flush the toilet, and then you can start your procedure. I'm Terry with Towers Murray Plumbing, Murray, Utah.